Boom! What's going on, YouTube? You know, despite my thing with Hubson right now, um, I respect their product. I do. Uh, mine has been flawless, but I believe it is one of the originals. And um, I have no idea what they've changed. I really don't. And I would just, I don't know if it's quality control issues or what's happening right now, but there are a lot of disgruntled, irritated, unhappy people. And I just want Hubson to realize that. So that is the last video I'm going to make like that, the Hitler video and the other one. I'm going back to my normal regiment. I just wanted them to be aware that there are a bunch of people that are not getting supposedly what they should be getting. And they're very irritated about it. With that being said, back to my normal activities here, guys. So let me show you this boat and see what happened today. And because uh, we're taking it out tomorrow, so I have to fix it. But uh, we're going to go over this, and I want you guys to know how the boat is doing up to this point. So I'll see you in a sec. Righty, guys. So here it is, the FT-012. The FT-009 should be here pretty soon. It is the breast version, the little brother of this one. I mean, they're both the same size, but... Um, they are built differently. One has brushed, the other one's brushless. So, but this brushless version is awesome, man. It is still kicking with no issues. You got to give it up to China sometimes, man. They make some awesome products. Um, so today I got two of these batteries in. So now I have three batteries for the boat. This is 11.130 C 1800 milliamp 3S. And I got to tell you, I don't think these are 30 C. I think they're like 40 C. They are insanely powerful batteries, um, but the boat handled it. it. I went through the first battery, no problems. On the second battery, I'm not sure if I hit something or it was just too much stress on that prop. But if you guys take a look, it broke that whole prop clean off. And uh, I was just driving in a pond in my area, so I'm thinking it was torque. What happened was it shot up and it hit a wave and then it went sideways and it came in upside down and I had a full throttle and then it like stopped upside down after it like did a couple like swirly things and then I self righted it boom and I went to take off and I heard just a different noise it was like humming weirdly it's making a funky noise that it didn't normally it sounded like it was working harder than it needed to and it wasn't going as fast so I brought it back and that's when I realized that the prop had been totally destroyed so I don't think it hit anything. I think it was just maybe the way it landed. It was too much torque the way it came down and shoved against the prop and it just snapped it off. You know, after pushing on pressure with my fingers on this, I realized these are kind of flimsy. So what's going to end up happening is we are going to get a brass one for the back of this. And uh, but you know what? I, I got to give it to the uh, Phelan because they gave me another prop in here, another prop there two more grub screws, the wrench and the Allen wrench to work on the boat now. And they even came with grease, a little tiny grease for your first time. Since then, I've ordered some really nice Traxxas Marine grease for the uh, Spartan, the Traxxas Spartan boat. And it is doing very well with that grease on there. So uh, I still have to bring this to Morris's hopefully Monday and have him drill out this grub screw. Uh, until then, I'm just doing a very good lubricating job of the bearings that I can access in the shaft. And it seems to be doing fine, so not too worried right now. You can see all that grease splattered across the bottom where I've been putting it, but uh, it's holding up good. So we are going to get this prop off of there, and hopefully there's no Loctite on there. If there is, I'll have to go get some tomorrow before we take this out but I'm charging up that battery next uh, the green ones on there and then I have the other battery over there so you see I got the two Hubsons and that one charging and I bored out the legs there those are uh, need a little more sanding and uh, yeah then I have to get some paint tomorrow if I haven't picked it up uh, I asked a roommate here to grab some so we'll see if they did um, but I shaved about 10 grams off of all four legs and uh, now these just need a good sanding job and fixing a little bit. If I decide to even use them, I may not even use those. I may just empty some pens out and connect some pens to the bottom of here, shave down. We'll see. I don't know if I like the look of the legs. I kind of like the way I did the H502E. I liked having them right on the legs. That was just nice. So, all right, well, let me try to loosen this prop here, take this off and uh, put a new one on there and see what happens. I'll see you guys in a sec.
Well, it came off there smooth as butter, man. It didn't even take much pressure with a wrench. And I can tell you right now, if you guys are going to be changing props, the inside of this is plastic thread. So do not, I repeat, do not crank this down when you put the prop back on there. Just give it a little love. And I got to tell you, it was on there, not just, just kind of snug. That was it. And it did just fine for what, like eight or nine runs now with no issues. So I don't think the prop needs to be super, super tight. Just enough to hold it in, uh, in place. If you guys can see the big slot that's in the center there, that's basically it. So the other prop is off. We're going to go ahead and uh, slide this one. If I get this focus again, come on now. Come on, focus. What's your deal? There you go. All right, so I can just slide this right on here. It should just line right up. A new prop should go on. If I can do this easily. <laughs> there we go. It is on there now. And uh, I'll know a lot more tomorrow of whether these props are going to hold up. Hopefully it's not too bumpy a ride out there tomorrow. But uh, we are going to re-grease again one more time. I'm going to go ahead and screw that back on there lightly. And uh, then we'll finish charging all the batteries tonight. Wake up and head straight down to the water tomorrow and have some fun. So, let's get her done. Alright guys. Oh, I got some of that Traxxas good grease. Very sticky. And all I'm going to do is rub it right off on the end there like that and then I'm gonna grab the propeller back here and just turn it nice and slow let it pull it right into the bearing slowly that's it that's all we're gonna do oh it already got smoother I can feel it so beautiful such a beautiful thing so beautiful and then I'm gonna put a little bit back here I left a little shaft play there so I can insert some grease in there. So, that's basically it, man. That's all there is to it. Prop is on there, it went on real smooth and easy. Broken one's here, and I think we're gonna go ahead and order a brass one. I just love that this boat comes with everything for 80 bucks, like it's ready to go. I am gonna bring the second prop. It even gave me two nose guards, like, that one already took a good hit off the boardwalk, but it's still uh, doing just fine boat barely ever has any water now if i did have to make a suggestion is that when it does have water and you pull that that drain plug it just does not work very well i wish what they would have done is put another drain plug over here that way you could have two air holes one to pull in air while it's trying to push the water out because when this is watertight like that when the case is on like this it's kind of like a suction you have to keep like tilting it back going back tilt it back go back uh, but as soon as you take the cover off and you drain the water, it just comes right out real easy. So I wish they had two drain plugs, one over here and one here. That way you could just pop them both off. One could pull in air while the other one pushes water out. That would be really nice to see. Um, I am going to take my uh, laser temperature gauge tomorrow. We're going to see the difference in the stock battery versus the uh, um, <laughs> upgrade batteries here. These just are heavier too, by the way. I put them on this scale and they're heavier than the stock battery. So, um, um, really, <laughs> uh, I don't know if these are actually 30C rated. I think they're like 35 or 40C rated batteries, but they are insanely strong and uh, they discharge. They're same, same milliamperage and same voltage, but just the discharge rate on these is crazy crazy that's a 25c so i can't see there being that major of a difference between a 25c and a 30c battery i might have seen a little performance but this thing runs like a scalded dog you know and <laughs> it just handles it though i gotta tell you the cooling system on this boat is phenomenal it has absolutely no problems it has just been working perfectly even at low speeds it just pulls water in right through that little bottom piece there I can get this to focus again there you go that little piece right there focus focus come on grr it's trying to focus on the bottom of the boat anyways then it sucks it up here through that line up through the motor up into the uh, sea and then right out this hole and this thing is spewing water while i'm while i'm going so it works perfect i couldn't ask for uh, i'm really glad that the cooling system works as good as it does it just when i pull it out of the water that motor just feels fairly warm it does a very very good job cooling everything off so 
All right, that's pretty much it for the night, guys. That is how you will replace the prop. Very easy. I'm glad they included the tool. It was so simple. It came off real easy, and I just went until it was snug. Just snug. I didn't over-tighten it at all. It's just basically to keep the prop there. It's locked in by its own little system here, so all you have to do is make sure that that's just snug. That's it. Do not over-tighten it. Strip out the plastic. But it worked great. It went back on there nice and smooth. So let's get these batteries charged up. And... Drone worship. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Toodaroo.